was that okay so one of the subs and like discord uh, members and a bunch of them but like one of them in particular uh his name is black uh, dream hunk whatever that means so let me see let me see let me see can i can i show you like this you should be able to see it right we're talking about scam citizen already unfortunately because you want me to talk about scam citizen all the time you, you you don't want me to like have a life or do anything else what's up Crystalin? nice to see you what's up sniperito i can't find anything to play help me please uh rainbow six siege you can try silica it's 20 bucks uh jack creature didn't like it he he thinks it's like a bit too early access for him but i mean it is not gonna lie but it's also a, a game made by a single developer and it's pretty good for what it is for like early access anyway uh black dream hunk said why don't grumpy i invite derek smart or any lawyers to show to the show to talk about star citizen let's start with canadian lawyers british or american first of all i don't know any canadian lawyers british or american lawyers invite people massively overpowered huh do you think that i'm massively overpowered that i'm like hanging out with uh massively overpowered people to talk star citizen uh let's see what they have say about star citizen okay what they have to say i guess so uh the reason why i'm like bringing this up is because my dudes like a bunch of you asked me already to like talk about uh derek smart 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 and not gonna lie uh i didn't know who it is Oh, you like it, but you want to see how it goes? Yeah, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna get, like, it can't get worse, right? It, it can only get better, and we're talking about Silica. Anyway, so can any of you tell me, um, what's the deal with Derek Smart? Because this is not the first time that I heard the name, and I really don't understand, like, have any of you researched who Derek Smart is, and, like, what games he did? Because, as far as I know... Most of you guys only know him by name, uh, because like in Star Citizen community, uh, you will know that name because he was like one of the most vocal guys. I doubt Derek Smart will be interested. He's over it now. Yeah, but like he was one of the uh, most vocal guys against like uh, Chris Roberts and uh, Star Citizen and all of that. And I don't know wh where that is. Like I, I know that there was there were like some interviews with him. But have you ever, like, checked out the list of games that he did? Derek Smart was right. So, yeah, a bunch of people would just, like, post that. Der Derek Smart was right. But look, have you ever, like, checked out any of his games? For example, Line of Defense. It's a backwater planet in a backwater system that Galcom used as a station. The GCD Stargard carrier... Now you would say, yeah, this is probably from, like, the early 2000s. No, this is 2009. Right? Let's continue. We have Derek Smart's Universal Combat. Uh, the video is called "Is an Amazing Game. Just check this out. I don't know about the music, maybe it's gonna get me demonetized. So, I think this is like uh, the early 2010s, something like that. See, Jack, I'm not attacking the person. I'm uh, attacking the arguments. Like, if you're gonna be a, a, a... If you're gonna pose as a developer... What's up, Sadiq? So, if you're gonna pose as a developer and talk shit about a guy that actually has a pretty good history... Like, whatever we think about uh, Chris Roberts right now, whatever we uh, uh, think about, like... It, it doesn't matter what we think about... Um, 
Star Citizen and the whole CAG project company or whatever. It doesn't matter. But like, if you're gonna attack the guy that has actual history in gaming, you should probably have something better to show for yourself, right? That's like at least my thought. You criticize Star Citizen and CAG on every stream. So what game have you made? Um, now, like none. But I'm not uh, 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 like I'm not saying that I'm a game developer. You know that I'm a musician, music producer, and a YouTuber. So that's that's like the the difference, right? Reality, he knows more than 99.99% of people that talk about Star Citizen. How do you know that? If this is the only thing that he has to show, like games like like that, oh yeah, I have it open. Serious Sam, uh, it's a Croatian game. This is like a re-release or whatever. No, it's a special tanks. So that's his uh, credit. Algonon, we just showed that. Angle of Attack, there's no video of that uh, like anywhere. Universal Combat, uh, we just showed that. Battle Cruiser, uh, Millennium. Lord of, the, uh, Lord of the Rings, the Two Towers. Okay, I didn't check this one out, so I'm just going to do it right now. It's a PS2 game. He was... A special thanks again. For a PS2 game, it's good, but it, like he was just like a special thanks. So, did he make them on on his own? No. Like the only thing that the that he actually did was Angle of Attack, Algonon, and Universal uh, Universal uh, Combat that I just showed you. Like, those three games. Um, actually, Angle of Attack is not even on YouTube. Like, you can't even fucking find a, a video of it. So, he has released games. So, that will be uh, experience how many people have released games. Dude, did you check Steam? Did you check Steam? Did, like, do I need to show you the worst fucking... Like, go go to Big Fry TV. Big, Big Fry TV. And check out the games that he's showcasing there. Anyway, I, I don't want to bore you with like Big Fry, but he's always checking out new releases on Steam and early access games and all of that. They were basically just scams. And that's it. So if you're not following this guy, you should be because he's always like uh, speaking the truth. Who the fuck are we talking about? Derek Smart. Apparently a guy that can bring down Chris Roberts. That has a lot to say. There, There is like an interview... Of him on on YouTube that I watched like a, two years ago maybe. So yeah, uh, Star Citizen is possible to make, but not how CG is making it. I mean, look, you can say that it's possible, but also there's a reason why most people, like most companies, are not even trying to make that kind of a game. Star Citizen is not even a game. Like I, I can't even fucking say that it's a game at this point. My last stream, I said that I want to, like, I can't get a re refund, but I can sell my account. So that's what, what I'm going to do at some point, if the game doesn't get better. I'm not going to play, like, I don't even want to play it anymore, honest, honestly. Like, I don't have to be an architect to criticize a building that looks crappy. Yeah, but if... Listen, Sniperito, you don't need to be an architect to shit on, on, on a building that looks crappy, Right? But if the only thing that you have to show for yourself is like a house that fucking fell down, one house that you built or three houses that you built and it just like fell down because, I don't know, uh, it was just like crappy built, then like you shouldn't be criticizing. At least you shouldn't like, why would I call you onto my talk show or whatever podcast to talk to you about something uh, that is like way above you? I did. You're looking at it. You're looking at it, dude. This is Derek Smart Games. These are his games. The thing with Derek is that he said the Earth is round and rotates around the sun. At a time, everyone believed the church saying that Earth is flat and center of the world, so he got burned. Look, I, I, I like, listen. Was he the only one that said that? I didn't know about Derek Smart up until like 2021. I didn't buy the game. I didn't like buy into Star Citizen uh, 
basically up until 2021. Like early 2021, uh, late 2020, something like that. So, yeah. Let's see what he has to say about Star Citizen. And you know what? He's right about Star Citizen. Okay. Am I wrong about Star Citizen? Like, one of the few, honestly, back in time, you need to understand the context. It was so super early in project just after Kickstarter. Cool. Derek Smart was in CUG. Now we all have 10 years of history to judge. When you saw a Kickstarter for a game that was promising something, because I, I can't, like, look, I, it was 2012. I was I just, like, broke up with my uh, ex-girlfriend that I was in love with, or she broke up with me. I was fucking heart heartbroken. And Star Citizen happened on Kickstarter, and I saw it, and I was like, Jesus, I, I like, I remember the time, because at the time... I, I don't want to lie here, but at the time, John Mayer, one of my uh, favorite artists, uh, released, was it Paradise Valley? Or the other album, I forgot the, the other album. Yeah, Born and Raised, he released Born and Raised in 2012, and I was listening to that fucking album, I fucking remember that, I was listening to, to, to like this album, Around the time when this little shit, around the time when uh, uh, Star Citizen Kickstarter got released. And I was like, yeah, so everything is going to be fine. Every everything is going to be good. John Mayer is back on track. He had like a, 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 a like a problem with his vocal cords. He, he, he couldn't like sing. There's like a big ass game being made that like just won on Kickstarter uh, or won, like got all the money that they needed. But at the time, I was like, oh, you know what? This could be a scam. And I didn't want to invest in as like probably none of you did. What's up, Horn? So like him being uh, one of the guys that like said it early that it's going to be a scam or whatever. Doesn't matter. How many games have you released? I'm a fucking YouTuber and a music producer. I can talk like I'm a gamer. I have played a ton of games. I can tell you like I'm not going to talk from a, a standpoint of a fucking game producer or a game developer. Like, do you do you understand what I'm trying to say here? I'm not going to talk from a standpoint for, for, of a fucking game developer. I'm talking from a standpoint of a fucking gamer. This shit ain't working for a gamer. I don't like this. This is bad. But anyway, fuck that. Uh, I, I said what I had to say about this because I just don't get it. Like, why would I t talk to him? I am, at some point, I am going to talk to uh, UbiDev. I am going to talk to one of the uh, guys that uh, made Valorant because he's a friend of mine from uh, elementary school. Black, how many games have you released? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, you almost killed me. How many ca Canadian lawyers have you released? Sorry to hear that about your girlfriend. No, I have a girlfriend now. That was like fucking 12 years ago, dude. Or 11. I'm good. How many women have you released? 